Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome back to my channel. How is everybody doing? Hope you're having an amazing day. <laughs> this lighting, uh, let's, let's work with it. <laughs> so you guys, we went to Budwa. The Budwa, since we come to Montenegro for the past three years, all everybody's like, oh, you should go to Budwa, 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 Budwa. And we decided with another, okay, let's go to Budwa because now I'm here for like four days. So it's like, okay, let's go to Budwa. So I came uh, to Montenegro. I came on Sunday, Sunday morning. I reached there Sunday, middle of the day. And I took some rest. And then in the evening after Nadir finished work, we rented the car and we went to Budwa. Girl, we need to take the ferry to pass like from this area to like basically pass to, to towards Sivat and going to Budwa and the ferry ah, the line it was 40 minutes everybody said that going to Budva there is a lot of traffic now in the summer there is a lot of tourists and indeed there was a lot of buses now in the night there was not but then coming back on Monday afternoon there was a lot of buses going in and uh, out so yeah a lot of a lot of tourists and that's amazing but we took the ferry we spent 40 minutes just waiting for the ferry the ferry ride is like 10 minutes even less to pass but just waiting for the ferry there was a big line because of course maybe it was sunday night a lot of people maybe they visit i don't know they visit family or they've been here on travels i don't know but it was crazy and even going to budua 11 in the night guys it was traffic big time it was moving but there was a lot of cars so we reached Budwa we stay in this hotel that's called Vela and it was a little bit of expense expense <laughs> was English but now it was a little bit expensive we pay 120 euros for only one night and you have uh, the breakfast included but the room it was okay I don't know talking with Nader also we got used to it with like Dubai uh, hotels and everything so for that price in Dubai you will get like a very very nice room it was still okay not complaining but it was not I don't think it deserved that money but of course it's a freaking July so it's full season so we reached there we went straight away to sleep we were both so tired I I didn't even take a shower I slept like a baby and then in the morning we woke up we went for the breakfast the breakfast is was regular it was very nice they had these very nice eggs with sausages and it was very delicious we had a nice breakfast and then we changed and we went to visit Budva. we went to Sveti Stefan basically it's just an island with like a fortress it was before now it's a um, hotel like a resort but it's, at the moment it's closed we were looking at the information but at the moment it's closed and to be honest i don't know for sure if they are allowing you to go in we saw some people like going in and you cannot go by car you have to take a boogie or i don't know how it's working out but we saw it from like the above we took some pictures we took some videos a lot of people they were like stopping in that spot just to take pictures and video of uh, sveti stefan and it was so beautiful from up but basically now it's a resort it's called daman according to wikipedia basically is not open they close it during the pandemic and they are like opening it in like stages so i don't know if it's open or not we saw people like on the walk like on this street that is connecting like steffi stefan with the, the like the other part but i don't know how how is how how 
is the process for you to actually go in so we saw that and it was beautiful and then we went to this small um, city we went down and it was so beautiful we had the coca-cola there and we just enjoyed the view it was very beautiful very similar with Helsing Novi to be honest but it was very beautiful we just had the cold drink there and we just sit uh, and uh, look around and it was actually very beautiful also but we were talking with another is like very similar with Helsing Novi and then we went to the old town girl the traffic oh my god oh my god it was something else so we stay in traffic it took us around 40 minutes even more till we found the parking spot till we like actually reached the old town of Budba we've been to old town in Kotor as well and I like it more it was crowded I don't know why everybody is like in the middle of the day when the temperature is freaking high and it's freaking summer and it's very hot everybody is out like in between um, 12 I think it was like after 12 yeah between 12 and 2 that we were there and everybody was out it was crowded the streets were very small but in my personal opinion like Kotor I like it more it was bigger you had more things to see this one uh, you will uh, get out from uh, like the old town directly to the beach and also like directly to the marina because we were exiting these places and it was like straight away out we had this big piece of pizza they were having so many pizza places there incredible like these huge slices and we had one of those with ham and it was delicious we only had one between us because we were not that hungry but you know you see it everywhere it's like mm, this look delicious let's let's have a one and yeah we were there for like half an hour and then we went back to the car I did when there was these shops they were having a lot of sales and girl I found some uh, like uh, bags from Kat Piska basically they were having 50% off and on top of that if you buy three one of uh, uh, the bags is free so i pay for four bags 60 euros from carpisca carpisa 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 i think it's called like carpisca carpisa carpisa i think it's called it's like the girl was telling me that it's an italian brand and i saw this brand a lot of places but i never actually entered and they were trying like to sell me all these pink bags and everything like girl i am a full black do you do you see where this fit my style no but i think it, i thought I thought it's a good deal and I actually bought like four bags for 60 euros imagine such a good deal and then we just drew a little bit around there were more shops to be honest we entered a lot of shops just because it was so hot and we wanted to cool down so we were rooming a little bit around there and then we took the drive and on our way it's like okay well we can visit more because it was two in the afternoon we visit everything that it was to visit because if you want to visit like uh, a lot of monasteries a lot of um, museums of course you have that things to visit and to see but we are not really a big fan of museums or monasteries or stuff like that so we went back and we actually went to Lustica Bay because there was like oh my god you need to visit Lustica Bay <sighs> it was far as well it took us a while because of course you go like through this road through the mountain we reached there there was a lot of like residence area access residence area residence only residence only and then we reached there and we're like uh, what is this there is a place now in Herceg Novi that it's open and it was very similar with that area in Herceg Novi. I don't know how it's called in Herceg Novi, but we've been, we've been there. It's like very high end, a lot of stores and like very nice and everything is decorated. But we like wanted to park the car. We look around. Most of the places they were closed because apparently it's now open like very soon and we left. We took some pictures from above. From above, these places, they were very nice. But being there, you don't have a lot of things to do okay you room around you drink a coffee and uh, you go on your way and also in these places the coffee is like five euros instead of like two euros that you will have found like for example i don't know in kumbor or in denovici you know what i mean so yeah that's that but yeah budwa we went there and we saw to be honest i don't think it's worth it i don't know it doesn't have a lot of stuff to do in that area i heard that it's good for like nightlife we reached there in the evening so in the evening in the night it was middle of the night and we were tired and to be honest we are not that type of like going out anymore like 
not really our stuff anymore we're like oh it's better to just be in the house and have a nice rest so yeah that was our trip to Budwa like I said uh, everybody saying that the nightlife is very good there they have very good beaches it was hot we were attending and we having uh, with us our swimming suit but we were talking with Nadia like okay if we take now uh, we go into the sea and we need to take the drive and you don't take a proper shower we will not be comfortable so I don't know maybe going there just to be at the beach but we have beaches here in Porto Novi as well in this area so I don't know I've been to Budwa thank you very much uh, <laughs> not anymore it was nice it was an experience but not my cup of tea I found Kotor way beautiful in Perast to be honest I don't know I found it more beautiful I'm sure like in, I'm sure I, I know 100% sure even Budva has his own way and if everything is like nice if you're in that area but for us being in this area to travel till there with this traffic and everything thank you very much next <laughs> so yeah that was our trip to Budwa we came back and we went for dinner here and we just relaxed and it was an amazing day we spent time together in the car so yeah, that was nice as well. Thank you very much for watching this video, you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And I shall see you in my next one because, girl, we went uh, with the boat again and it was amazing. So I have something to say about that as well. See you next time. Bye!